Hello, hello. Hello. How are we doing? Oh, Frenemy's talking. <laughs> Hold on, Frenemy. Hold on. He's ready, guys. Ready. They can't hear you yet. Hold on. Um. So, Not welcome yet. to Thursday nights. Um, with the very first, uh, Imaginarium stream. Um, I'm Cody from Tempest Studios. And that's I'm Lozen. Lozen. And um, mm -hmm. we have a very special guest that we're we've been talking about it for a while. We're excited uh, for you guys to finally um, officially meet the legend. But uh, we're gonna bring Frenemy on, and uh, we're gonna get things kicked off. So now you can talk and be seen. <laughs> there you go. Maybe. Oh, if wait. Uh, yeah, uh -oh. if I didn't have you muted, that that would help. Um, sorry, wow. I could only scroll down so rude. fast. There we go. Rude. Um, Very rude. Yeah, I, I know. This. Apologies. Um, yeah. So, everyone, this is Frenemy. Hello, everyone, say hi. Um, Hello, everybody. So this is a really special stream we've been planning for quite a while now. Um, we're excited to be able to introduce you to Frenemy and this imaginarium world uh inside the sandbox that we all know and love so um why don't we get things kicked off um let me first kind of tell you how these streams are going to work and then we'll dive into some questions for frenemy and the plans for the evening but um with these streams this is the first one we're doing um right now we have i think 10 planned that could change to be more or something but for now, we have 10, um, where we will be with Frenemy doing various activities that show just peeling back the curtain behind the scenes of um, what goes into developing a game from Frenemy's background, from our background, putting it all together, and you get to come along for the journey. You get to give creative input. Uh, super, super exciting. Um, so tonight, on the very first stream, um, we're going to get to know Frenemy the background, the, the origin of all of the characters and what's going on. But Frenemy is going to be drawing um, a character and location that's going to be in the game so that next week when we're back and streaming, we're going to take that 2D drawing that Frenemy's done and we're going to voxelize it for the game. You kind of see where we're going here. So super pumped, super excited. Um, Lozen, let's let's ask for me some questions and then we'll share share for me screen and uh get to drawing for me is there anything you want to say to the crowd to the audience before we get started <laughs> i don't know thanks for uh, coming here and hanging out and being interested in the game excited to, for what we're putting out it's looking pretty awesome so far so i hope you guys will be will enjoy it yeah for sure, for sure. all right uh lozen what's what's first up what do you what do you mean what's first up? What are, I guess what's the first question we have for friend of me that we wanted to ask? Well, don't we wanna like No, never mind. Um well I I think something that would be really helpful for everyone is to kind of like know who you are and like how you got here, other than like your mother's birth canal. But yeah. Yeah, that, that I think that's a good start. So yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a graffiti artist. Uh, well, just an artist in general, but uh, my background in art kind of, I started drawing when I was a little kid, but then I got more known for my art through graffiti and like street art and uh, painting murals and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's my art background. And I started off in Austin, from Austin, Texas. And uh, I lived there for about 12 years from 2000 to like 2000. 12 and that's where I started painting graffiti as a young kid and um from then eventually I started painting like like I used to make letters lettering graffiti and then I started painting characters and I, I mean I always drawn characters and made like little comics and stuff since I was a little kid but uh my focus wasn't like when I my focus switched to graffiti and all I painted was like lettering and stuff and then I switched back to doing my characters and painting them in the street and painting doing we pace and all kinds of stuff with that. And then it kind of turned into much more uh, doing illustration work and design work, designing for like skateboard companies and magazines and all kinds of stuff. 
So, yeah. And then you guys reached out to me and about making a game. It's kind of where we, how we got here. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Amazing. And I guess like a little backstory, like you guys, you know, you said you've been planning this stream for a while, but like for me, I've kind of been planning it for like the last decade because like I first saw Frenemy's work like a long time ago and I saw some characters that he had done and those kind of really left an impression on me and um I could really tell that there was a lot of of like soul there as far as like uh, the the characters that he created they you could look at them and you could see the story and that's what I love so much about Frenemy's work um so I'm super excited uh to to have this kind of like all start here um I originally just reached out to maybe do some equipables or do something small and um that that nope. quickly changed whenever a friend of me was like, oh, well, I have all of this. And then he just puked all of this magic everywhere. And we're <laughs> just like, okay. Yeah. I so I make some stuff. So I, yeah, basically you yeah, you guys were like, well, would you like to either, you know, maybe you could make equipables or NPCs or avatars or whatever, or it may be a game if you have. And then I had already had a whole story written for a cartoon that I want to make. I still want to make eventually. And I just like was like, no, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to make a game. I'm not going to just go small. I want to make a game. And I took the cartoon concept and just rewrote it a little bit for a game. I was like, here, I have this. What do you think of this? And then yep. and that got us here. So. so you said that, you know, you had a guitar or not a guitar, but you had the cartoon already that, that you were going to pull this game from how long have you been creating this story and IP? Uh, so, I mean, I've been drawing characters and doodling stuff since I was a little kid. And then, uh, but I started to really take it more seriously around 2009 with like transitioning from doing my, from just graffiti to like doing like murals with it and stuff. And then I would paint, do a lot of like watercolor paintings and stuff. And then, uh, and I always been really into like, I didn't want to be an artist who just was known for one character. I want to like, I like making lots of characters and like using my imagination as much as I can. And so I had been creating these characters since around two, like both before but 2009 i'll say when i started taking it very seriously and i started writing little stories for all of them giving them names and then over time it's evolved to where it is now where i have like whole stories and concepts and backstories to everything and the cartoon probably really came to fruition in the last like 10 years and then i also have a difference to like a comic book graphic novel that i've been working on it's a whole other story and like uh so i have a lot of all my work kind of revolves around storytelling. And so, yeah, I've been nurturing that for a while. Amazing. Yeah, it's it's actually really cool because you have like a lot of really lighthearted and fun um, things. And there's always these really great underlying messages, I feel, too, connected to a lot of your work. But then you also, like, you have quite a bit of dynamic too I've seen some of your pieces that are a little bit more serious but the way that you know you kind of present these ideas of, of like the one for instance is the the I can't remember the name of it but it's the head and then you can see like in the brain area and you see like some like house on fire and and so oh, yeah. and um like, I thought that that was a really interesting concept, um, especially with the, I can't, what was the title of that? Uh, home is where the herd is. So it's yes. like a, a lot of times, I mean, I use art as therapy basically. And uh, so I'll, I'll paint really cartoonish, funny stuff, but then I'll paint cartoonish, funny stuff that has serious backstory to it. So, cause I came from like a household where both my parents were drug addicts and alcoholics and pretty rough upbringing or whatever but that also fostered me to be a creative person I think but uh making art about those things kind of as a healing process you know so I yeah I painted like like I did this whole series where 
what, what would it be like if you could see inside someone's mind? And one of those paintings was the, the it had like a jelly kind of head and then you can see their skull, but then the face on top and then inside the skull was this like cartoon house on fire with like smiling all crazy and like with matches in its hand or something. But yeah, yeah I, that's one of my favorite my favorite pieces probably yeah, um we've had a discussion about that one before but yeah, yeah I, I really like um that that you're able to take things like you you have like this one ip that that's very young and fresh for like kids you even have your kids book too which yeah. you know we can talk about that um if you want but and then you have you know the more serious stuff you kind of are able to relate to multiple different types of, of people through your work. And I think that's really special to you. Yeah, I think uh, as someone who's like a creative person, I want to, uh, it's nice to be able to express yourself in many ways to where, and then I like to not just limit myself to where all my stuff is dark or all my stuff is super happy and cartoony, but I have all those aspects where I can make, like Cosmic Safari is a graphic novel I've been working on that, uh, and that's like, a more dark serious version of my stuff but then imaginarium is like fun and playful and about you know escapism but in a fun way and then you know i've got my children's book that's called kimbop was born to explore that's like encouraging kids to go outside and explore the world and explore yeah. their imagination those as well it's, a lot of my stuff is about imagination so even though that one is about going outside and exploring outside and not just being inside all the time or staring at the screen but it's also about using your imagination when you do that so I love that like to it. Yeah. You know, you know, cause I was inspired as a kid or like to start drawing by like Dr. Seuss and where the wild things are or Shel Silverstein books. And those are the things I looked at that got me drawing as a kid. So with all of my work, whether it's books, or children's books or comic books or doing mirror, all my murals, like public art, if I can have like a little kid look at that and feel inspired to start drawing or whatever, then I've succeeded at what I want with my art. That's would be my biggest goal with, with art is that one day kids are looking at my stuff like the same way I looked at like Dr. Seuss book and then they start drawing and be creative. For sure. So, that's a good yeah, goal. That's, yeah, that's yeah. definitely yeah. what I see. I see all of those qualities that make those those like evergreen um, IPs. I see a lot of those same qualities in 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 your work and in what you do um but yeah Thanks. cody i am hogging i'm hogging questions you hogging. do you uh, um, have any i'm sorry no <laughs> let's let's uh i'm gonna switch the scenes so friend of me will be able to see your ipad screen if you want to okay cool show um so show some of the show early some of the show some of the early stuff yeah. um that we're talking about now um, and yeah, feel free to some narrate of the, some of it. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, some of the concept art for like, so a lot of this is the stuff that uh, my, that the game is based off of like a lot of illustrations and stuff that the whole cartoon concept is based around. These are like watercolor and gouache paintings. Um, do you have that up now? Already? Yeah, yeah, it's up now. We can see it. Okay. Oh, I know why I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Now I can see. Okay, cool. I can see now. Yeah, so like this, uh, is a painting I did. It's watercolor and gouache with Kim Bop, who is, or not Kim Bop, Kim Bop's from my children's book. This is um, Mochi, uh, the little blue monster guy, and he's inside of a costume. And these are some of the characters that are going to be in the game, like these dino moose and this Peaches character, or whatever. And this, like, he's uh, kind of like playing make believe in a little costume. And, but all this stuff is like kind of, you know, what the game, or here's Mochi painting graffiti. And his little, his best friend, the doodle dog, which is a, a, a big theme in a lot of my murals and paintings. I have my doodle dogs, these little pencil dog characters. And Mochi and doodle dog, they're, they're best friends and they explore the world together or whatever. And um, it's kind of uh, in the game and in the cartoon, they explore the world of the Imaginarium together. And the doodle dog can make scribbles, like these like scribble balls but can't turn them into anything. And Mochi can pick them up and turn them into things with Mochi's imagination. So in the game, we'll have some of that same kind of play where you 
but instead of mochi, like you'll meet mochi in the doodle dog and they'll introduce you to a field of doodle dogs and then you'll get to pick a doodle dog out that's your companion. And then you'll turn the doodles into things in the game with your imagination or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, and then all these little characters and monsters and all kinds of stuff will be in the game and houses with faces and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, um, thank you. Really cool mechanics, like Freddie was explaining with the doodle dog companion and the leveling up, turning the doodle into something usable in your journey. Um, it's going to be such a fun experience to play through. Yeah. And I've got uh, yeah, like some more. Here's like another mochi and doodle dog uh, painting. And I've, yeah, I've done like giant murals with these guys all over the world. Uh, I've, yeah, I've got, have, got to do a lot of fun stuff with my I've had a lot of fun opportunities. It's been very fortunate over the years. Brian yeah, and the game will have this is like a scene basically from the game where we have like these bushes with faces on them and stuff and the mountains in the background with faces yep. and... and then Brian's asking uh, or saying he also saw that you tattoo right yeah I'm also a tattooer actually you can, I'm not sure it has a tattoo machine on it right now <laughs> uh, I work at a shop in Malaysia Kuala Lumpur Malaysia called Why I Include Tattoo and uh, yeah, I do like a lot of tattooing, but my tattooing is completely different than my illustration work and my murals and stuff. I do more like American traditional style tattoos, but kind of funky. So my own twist on it, but yeah, I don't really do the cartoon stuff as tattoos. Amazing. Which I think is it's fun to be get to be creative in a completely different way. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy that kind of like I get to be creative. That's some it's completely separate and different than than this stuff. Yeah. So it's good to switch it up, have multiple outlets. Um Thanks. cool. Thanks, Crafter. Yeah, Crafter's in here. We got a lot of a lot of good people in have here. Have we said hello to everyone? We haven't said oh. hello. Should we like we scroll notice. upward some? Yeah. Crafter, Super Magus, 90. Hey, good to see you. Artist Arctic Mosaic, Brya is here. M Marty sixty six is here. Um, my mouse stopped working. Cyrus. Yeah, you take over. Hello. Oh, what's up? Arctic Mosaic. Neagle is here. Yes. Reed Cooper. Hollow Hi, Cowboy. Reed. The yokes on you. Hell yeah, you're here. That makes me happy. I we got Frenemy. Twitter Frenemy. friends. Yes. Yep. Dankoy's in here. Um, BK. All y'all day. Oh, I Mariana. love that name. I see Mariana's in here. Just her furious. Hi, Mariana. Cole Cuts is in here. J Dog. Oh, my goodness. K Wolf. Vox Machina. Lele is in here. Hell yeah. Got a nice full house, guys. And Viva, there's Vivox. Coddle Hills here. <gasps> Go West. Vivox. Nice. Oh goodness, Cowboy, guys. thanks, man. <laughs> so, um, he actually owns this piece. Oh, nice. Who? Cowboy. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, this is the one from the art show. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Blue Tulips I here. Nice. Uh, Arctic Mosaic has a question. What makes you decide where to invest in different platforms when you have so many options and have to decide where to spend your research and time? Uh, Arctic Mosaic, can you, can you, uh, which specific platforms, like well, where to sell pieces or what specific platforms are you speaking about? Um, while you answer that, I'm going to play um, that video again. So this is um, the little tease video we made that shows um, a 2D animation of Frenemy's characters entering a portal, becoming the voxelized version. Um, I'm going to play that again. Here we go. So you guys can see that. Oh, so you can see the doodle dog and mochi traveling with all the fun plants, the badass so this, logo. This is actually, yeah. A 
and all the doodle dots. That animation at the beginning was actually the beginnings of a the animation for to make a little trailer for the cartoon I want to do. Oh wow! Nice. Okay, Arctic Mystic said, uh, "How did you select the sandbox uh, and other markets for investing energy and time?" So the sandbox actually it's the other way around, I guess. You guys came to me. Yeah, it was it was our idea, Arctic. Uh, we're like, hey, yeah. you know, as Lizen said earlier, let's do some equipables or some NPCs and finding out for enemies' background and has all these stories and badass characters. We're like, okay, game it is. And um, yeah, here we are. Oh, let me get this off the screen for you. So let's um let's start drawing for me. If you want to get going on the yeah. drawing here, why don't um why don't you give us a little backstory about who this person is or who they are per se. So these are some like monsters that are recurring in a lot of my work, murals and paintings and stuff. And in the story, they live in this magic forest uh, where ideas are born. And there's these like kind of, you can see this like brain tree and the, the ideas are born from these brain trees and these little monster guys that I'm working on, they are they kind of train and nurture the ideas in the in this magical forest. So inside the Imaginarium. So this is like a little funny little cloud guy who's like represents like the good ideas, and they are born from this these trees, and they nurture them till they can become something bigger, basically. And, and uh, there, I mean, there's so much. A lot more to it to the for the story and stuff but yeah they're magical creatures that, that live in a magic forest and take care of and nurture ideas Oops. so good yeah so. they're they're kind of fun they have they're very colorful they have a kind of like jelly bean looking um hair they're like so is it like scales or like feathers or hair? What what would you? They're kind of like scales, like furry scales. And actually, it's funny enough. Uh, before I ever painted these, I made a sculpture of these. Uh, I used to make sculptures of these. Like I was doing these like heads that look like they're um, taxidermied heads of monsters, kind of. That's awesome. And I made I made these. Um, uh, as a sculptures before I ever painted them. And then after making a few sculptures of them, I was like, oh, these are cool. I should make paintings of these. And I started painting them. That's amazing. Yeah, I love the heads. Yeah, those are they're super fun to make. Uh, yeah, I've decided I wanted to branch out and try making sculptures and made all these monster sculptures. And then they kind of went back 360 where they went back to, or not 360, 180 or whatever. I went back to like, my paint, doing paintings of them as well. But. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. If uh, if anybody has questions uh, for Frenemy or about anything, really, feel free to throw it in chat. Just lead with like a cue or a question, so we can we can see it right away. I do want to also mention um, now that we're a little bit into the stream, how some cool stuff that's going on. So every stream that we do, we will have a giveaway um so that's the cool thing number one cool thing number two is every stream that you attend right we're going to have a form that you'll fill out here towards the end of the stream very easy form um we will do that for every stream and that's logging your attendance for being here um and so you'll get one point per stream uh as i said earlier we're at right now we're planning 10 streams but if you get to eight at least eight points you'll be able to uh, get airdropped another um, Imaginarium themed sandbox asset. So uh, one for sure, if you get to eight and then one chance to win each stream as well. So I'm gonna show those real quick um, if we're okay with that. Let me yeah, just switch cool. over. Um, so this is the Scribble Sword. So it's the main <laughs> hand weapon uh sandbox assets and this is the asset that you will be able to claim 
if you get to eight. Um, <laughs> if you get to eight, Neagle, um, if you get to eight attendance points. So it's like a trident sword. It's magical. It's badass. So um, definitely make sure to follow uh, all the Twitters, the Twitch, so you know our schedule for when these come out. But that's this one. And then the one we're giving away on stream is this one. So this is also an equipable. Um, this is what we in the sandbox community call an aura. Um, did, so what did we decide, Frenemy Lozen? Are we are we naming this today? Yeah, I think we're gonna have a vote if people want to help name it. Yeah. Yeah. What should the what should this name be? Maybe if we get some in here. Imaginarium themed. Oh. Something to do with imagination or creativity or inspiration or something. Something imagination themed. So maybe we should talk about also like the theme of the game. or like what the game Yeah. Is. I we think let's let's go is. there next. Um so y'all be thinking about a cool name for this. Um and then maybe that's what we can actually mint the name as. For the asset being called, so just yeah, wanted to show those. Somebody here today can name name the asset. And then, what about if someone names it? We'll figure out a way. Maybe we can grab some entries from. Uh, actually, here's how we'll do it. Oh. When I give you the form later to fill out for your um, participation points, I'll put a field where you can add your name idea, and then we can go from there let's do that reed said the joseph yeah. aura like the technicolor coat which i thought that was cute that is cute that's cool um yeah so be yeah, thinking maybe, about yeah, maybe the they name can fill it out <gasps> we'll fill it out and then maybe the win whoever whose name gets picked wins the aura yeah we can we can imagine aura <laughs> that's, pretty good. that's pretty good that's really pretty good that's a pretty good one yeah so yeah at the end if they fill out the form and put the name put their name idea then whatever one gets picked will win the aura this go this go i guess yeah. i guess that sounds cool yeah we can do that um yeah all right so awesome. i've got we'll do the form here in a little bit um but yeah uh we should talk about yeah let's talk about the game theme of the game yeah so what's the i mean without giving away everything and all spoilers and characters like what what's the gist of yeah. the game so basically i t like i said i took this concept for a cartoon i had and turned it into a game and in the cartoon mochi and doodle dog live inside this world called the imaginarium a world of imagination and the world is under attack so the and the mochi and doodle dog work together to fight off the beings that are attacking the imaginarium and by doing by doing that they doodle dog can make these scribble balls mochi picks them up and they turn into things that are useful so if it you know like weapons and armors and things like that or whatever that's what I transferred it to the game, but in the cartoon, you would make, if you needed to jump across something, you could throw them and turn them into things to jump across or, you know, uh, use his imagination to turn them into whatever. Uh, but in the game, you will have the similar concept, but like with armors or weapons or things like that. So, but when you, as a player, you'll start out and you'll be like in a regular world and then you get sucked into this portal, an imagination portal but you don't know what that is. This portal appears and you get sucked into it. And then you arrive inside the world of the Imaginarium. And you get kind of like welcomed, like, oh, we've been waiting. You're the one who's been foretold to save us. And we've been waiting for you kind of storyline, you know. Uh, and then, yeah, the game will unfold where you'll, Mochi and Doodle Dog will, they'll welcome you. And like, you're the one who's foretold, blah, blah, blah. And then they introduce you to the Doodle Dogs. There'll be a field with different Doodle Dogs. And uh, you'll pick one out. And I don't know if you guys want how much you want to say about that, but I'll let you guys, if you want to talk about the doodle dog aspect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so the cool, oh, Lozen's saying, shh. 
just know i will just say this not yet that okay <laughs> the penny there if you remember from the video we showed with all the doodle dogs by mochi there at the end card each doodle dog looks different right there they have very different personalities so one can assume that depending on which one you choose might make that personality change the adventure of the rest of the game in some way we'll just leave it at that yeah i mean you basically so, just said i it. didn't <laughs> say it just yeah, saying but, but it doesn't say everything but yeah like things you know be be careful about which doodle dog you pick because things could be different yeah so, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. One of them um, might yeah. not shoot out doodles. It's just going to be straight up doo doo. Doo doo out and the good yeah. luck with side. That. Yeah. Yeah, it's the poop dog. Good then luck. you're screwed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're, then you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. But yeah, it's going to be super fun. You know, have a lot of fun aspects with that whole type of thing with the doodles and turning them into things. And uh, yeah. And I, so I just, yeah, basically took that those ideas from the game and turned them into a game and then you know you have to save the imaginarium from these bad guys we won't say much about what that is or yeah what you know what all what that unfold in the story but yeah but yeah the whole game is premised around using your imagination and creativity and you know all of that kind of thing so exactly and and you yeah. guys can uh, i mean you saw just if you follow friend of me on Twitter or Discord, you know you you know the great bodies of work that he has. But just showing what he did now in the stream, you can assume that the places you will go and the characters you interact with in the game will be just amazing. Um, a, a wide range of characters and locations in the game. Uh, that's that's what I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, that. I really wanted the game to be diverse to where you ever, you know, you visit all these completely different areas and different parts of different worlds and meet completely different characters and everything changes, you know, to where it's like not just the same the whole way through. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Crafter is say is asking when doodle dog 10 K. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the days of 10k are over. 10k, no way, but uh, 2k, yes way. I, I don't know. Um, it's not out of the question, but we'll see. I will veto 10k. Yeah, no 10k. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're I listen to the bosses, whatever they say. <laughs> um, but that that They're crafter that do this. <laughs> There's another Tempest <laughs> member behind Frenemy, like forcing him to yeah. draw right now. They, they follow him around. Yeah. Do you guys see how dimly lit this room is that I'm in? It's not too bad. <laughs> I'm actually in a prison cell right now. Oh my I'm being God. forced to draw this stuff. <laughs> I need to increase the brightness remotely here. Um, no one will know. <laughs> um, but Crafter, that that is a good point. So uh, we have the game, right? And we're working on that. But uh, if you guys have been following the last few months, so we've been starting to work on this, like when we were at South by Southwest, we were showcasing some of the characters. We had big cutouts. Actually, oh, Mochi's not in here. Mochi's upstairs. But um, our kids took it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, awesome. But, uh, you know, stickers and, and um, you know, if there's more... It's a, it's a whole universe, right? It's a whole world, and there's so much potential here with the the deep characters and the story. So, um, yeah, it's a lot to get excited about. Um, what I want to know is when Doodle Dog pet. Like, hmm. I don't even care about like the. I want Doodle Dog as a pet. I want him as a companion. Like that. Yeah. That would be my buddy. Yeah. That's the goal. We we yeah. need we need pets, dog pets in the sandbox. Pets and mounts, please. Um, Ooh, what would a mount be in Imaginarium? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, oh I can come up with plenty of things. <laughs> yeah. Well, I already want to do. I mean, 
I don't know if I should, I guess it doesn't matter if we talk about it, but yeah, like we eventually we plan, we're talking to do, doing the, um, uh, oops, sorry, what do you call it? Uh, the other game area, the social hub. Social hub. My yeah. Dad just melted. Uh, and for that, I would love to do some kind of thing where you have giant doodle dogs that you can go and like ride inside of or something. Dual dog races or whatever would be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. yeah. Mr. Fierce X yeah. was saying like, is is the pet amount right? So I, I think, like friend of me just said, you'd have the doodle dog pet small version, and then you could have a doodle dog like large get in. Like everything's a doodle. Dog. I like the idea like, of like a large one that's hollowed out in the back, almost yeah. like, and you get inside of it, and then you can like ride in it and shoot doodles out and do things. Like it would be super fun. Yeah, it would be. That would be. I want to fly like on a, a, a Gribble Dragon. Dog submarine. Yeah, I could have wings and fly. You could have a bunch of different versions. Yeah, submarine, doodle dog submarine. There's like unlimited possibilities. Well, that's what I love about this, the sandbox is so, so fun because like we can constantly evolve. Like what we were even talking about, the game can constantly evolve and you can have new right. things happen and new, new experiences with it. And like, you know, it could be like a, and it's the Imaginarium. So, the ideas are limitless I and mean, that was the whole concept when i came up with the concept for the cartoon like I, I wanted something where anything can happen you can make anything happen and with that with that transferring that to a game it's super fun because we could have all kinds of crazy stuff happen you know yeah definitely it is limitless crafter says or are you the mount's pet Ooh. So mm -hmm. it, there was this really cool moment in WoW where you could mount whoever you were with if you were a rogue. Isn't that what we could do? Like you could turn yourself into a mount and then I could ride you into battle uh, on WoW? Yeah, that that was not rogue. That that was... Um, crafter, no. It was a special <laughs> mount. what I say. It was. Um, this is getting weird. That's a this late is night weird. stream. Okay. Late night. Okay. Show. Okay. Never mind. You need to chill. Okay. Druid. 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 Yeah. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do to the doodle dog? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that the druid you could. And you that's could how the doodle dog sex toy was invented. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is going in a completely wow. this is going south. <laughs> no one clipped oh, that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's already there goes done. Hill. Hill's already on it. Gone, yeah. done. Sorry, it's already done. Um, oh, geez. Yeah, Carney oh, Phil. Carney Phil, what's up, Carney Phil? What's up, dude? Thanks for coming. <laughs> the yokes on you. Okay, Phil's <laughs> Phil's not on it. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll just let it let it ride there. Yeah, eighteen and upstream here, I guess. Um, yeah, my bad. For the imaginary and friendly kids, friendly. Kids. <laughs> well, it's for my everybody bad. though. It's actually for everybody. It's not just you know. It's all I like to make my stuff where anyone can enjoy it. Doesn't you know? It's not like limited to just kids or just adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah for right, sure. And I have that line, you know. Yeah, I'm and super then excited. Goes ahead and makes it R rated because you know, <laughs> or worse, you know. Never fails. Oh, say something weird. That's right. It keeps it keeps things more it's interesting. Keeps, yeah. yeah, it does. It's true. So um yeah. Super excited. Uh I don't know if we've talked about it, but uh Imaginarium is part of the Sandbox Game Makers Fund. Um yeah. which is really really exciting that the the sandbox has a fund you know that funds great ideas for games and experiences so um seb is a big fan um i don't know for any if you want to talk about the stuff happening with that yeah how's your relationship oh, with uh, that uh i mean it's cool he's you know he dm me uh asking for artwork for their uh, offices and said that he saw the game and that he thought it looked awesome and was excited to have to be part of the sandbox and stuff so it's super cool super awesome to get that feedback from him or whatever and he's sent a lot of like supportive messages and stuff and yeah it's been really cool actually super exciting yeah um totally and this has been like a honestly like a dream project like this has been super fun to work on with you guys and like 
super fun to be creative in, it, in this kind of way where I get to like do the storytelling, but then also you got to think like, because before I was like, okay, it's going to be a cartoon and it's a story, but now it can be like so much more, right. you know, which I find to be super exciting. And, and then, as I said a second ago, like the fact that with the sandbox, you can keep evolving it and so easily and change things. And I don't know, I think it, there's a lot of uh, opportunity there for the future to do a lot of super fun stuff. So definitely. And that's, yeah. um, that's, I think what Carney Phil actually is, is driving home the point, right? Is that, you know, there's tons of NFT collections that came out of, you know, the last two years when the 10k stuff was really big. Right. And that's, um, you know, well, fuck we've, even, or excuse me, we've even worked well, with a lot of 10 K. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's like no disrespect to the clients and stuff that we've worked on, but I do feel like a lot of the 10 K projects can't really compete with, you know, an actual independent artist like frenemy or even Carney Phil. I, I know who that is. Or, I mean, like we have Marina in here too. Like, there's so much heart and soul in, in indie creators and that's why I'm more for sandbox than any other ecosystem um, because that's it's really really um, trying to encourage diversity and hearing all different types of stories and you know it's great that they have these wonderful partnerships that you know, they can tout like Steve Aoki and all that other shit. But like what really excites me is the new stuff that that I see people creating. And um, if, you know, I love that that we had the 10K projects and, and that artwork that, that popped up. But what I really wanted to see whenever I started working in this space were some of the, the artists that I've been following for a long time. I wanted to see them create the space and make it wild and nuts because so much of the time I feel like I see people replicating what they see in everyday real life. And I don't want that in a metaverse. I want something new and fun and reckless. And I think creators need to be, um, need to be the ones that are um, creating and designing these spaces for people to, to get into. Exactly. So that's my soapbox. <laughs> I was just about to say. Um, yeah, th there's something about the true artists, right? The not all, but a lot of the 10K projects. It's it was it's not a story first thing. There are some that are, and we're in contact with them, and that's what matters. But a lot of them, it was story second or third or fourth or even fifth, right? And so trying to figure out how you make that into a game is very very hard but like frenemy you've got stories just flowing out of everything each character and whatnot so um for other artists that have that deep passion i think is like one of the most exciting things yeah that's yeah, been super fun yeah, like every time i feel like every time we have a meeting i leave the meeting and then i'm like messaging you guys <laughs> like, actually let's do this <laughs> let's do that and it's like that's yeah, super fun. Definitely. Like all this, you know, tell stories and little oh. jelly bean head guy here. Heck yeah, look at those colors. So I'm going to. Yeah, the whole game's going to be super crazy, the colors. And yeah, if you want to show some of like what we have already made, I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh, mm -hmm. um, let me. Well, what I was going to say first, I'm going to go ahead and drop. Um, the form in the chat so you guys can start filling that out um it will not take you very long because it's three blanks um so we just want your twitch username your wallet address and um your answer to what we should call the aura right and uh that's it what's this guy's name Oh. They have like a blanket name, but each of them have their can have their own funny individual like names. The and individual this one name. Have, it's, yeah. Interesting. Do you want me to add a field let's, for that too? Let's get some names. Yeah, if you guys want to name this guy. All right. Let me funny. see. Uh, Someone can also name this guy. We can because there's going to be. I mean, there's a lot of these guys living in the forest, and they all have their own little name and personality. And they're called they're forest guardians, right? That's what they are. Yeah, they're. 
Yeah, they're the Forest Guardians. Okay. But what should we call this one? Like Carl or Bob. Don't use those two. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Ezekiel. Or Ezekiel. See, that's much better. Wilford. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin. Melvin. Um, okay, so I'm going to send this. Winston Penny Hill the fourth. There you go. Yeah, he's from the long line of Penny Hills. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to send this in chat. Uh, fill it out. Remember, the reason for the form, other than putting in some good name ideas, is to get credit for being here for the stream. Um, we will do this every single stream we do in this series. Uh, Right now, there's 10 streams. If you get to eight, if you if you can't make it to two of them and you get at least eight, you get the Scribble Sword uh, sent to you when it's minted. So that's pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to send this as soon as I... Get that Scribble Sword. Get it. And I guess like most of the people in here are probably familiar with the sandbox, but maybe not everybody is. But like that, you can have the like assets and go play in other games is super fun. I think that's pretty... Pretty cool thing. Like you yeah. could use the scribble sword in like, you know, super your guys horror game. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take the bright you know, scribble like sword and monochrome. Disto... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a super fun concept. Um, let's see. Okay. So this is the link. Scribble okay. sword in GTA. Heck yeah. That'd be hilarious. That would be fun. Yeah. All right, I'm posting it here. Form for attendance. Fill that out uh, to get credits for being here. Um, make sure your wallet address can accept, I don't even know, uh, standard NFTs. And we'll be good. So you all start filling it out. Let me know if you have an issue filling it out. I'm watching for it, but... I don't typically use Google Forms. I use other things, so keep me posted on that. Um, awesome. Your tips on your pencils, Frenemy, do they go flat? Uh, so this is uh, uh, the Apple Pencil. So no, they they will wear, it's like rubber on the end, and the rubber will wear off, and there'll be like metal underneath, like metal poking out, and then you just have to switch it off. It just unscrews. And yep. Just unscrews like this, and then you can just screw it back on, and you just put a new one on. They're not that expensive, actually. The tips or whatever. The actual pencil, it's like a hundred bucks or something. But then the the tips, you get like a box of four of them or something like that. I can't remember how much they were, but it's not too bad because they last for a super long time. Yeah, I don't even know where mine yeah. is in the bag. Whenever somewhere. I use it, like mine ends up looking like it's melted because I. Push too hard. Push down really yes. hard. <laughs> okay. I well, I have a my body. I get really, really intense whenever I'm working, and it will just like lock up, and I'll have to like remind myself to like chill. And it happens really bad whenever I'm drawing. Uh, Reed, I just uh, messaged you, but I'll say it here. Uh, yes, crypto wallet, um, and that is so we can send you um, the aura or the sword or both, depending on. How it works out. You don't have yeah. a wallet. Google form works. Okay, thank you, Carney Phil. Um, would you like a wallet? And honestly, what you can do if you don't want to set it up right now, right now, just um, fill out your name. If you're planning on coming to more of them, um, just have a crypto wallet by the time we're done with all of the streams, and we'll use that one. Yeah. No rush. And it's to free to set up. Yeah, free to set up. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to like go buy anything or do anything. You just have to have it. Yeah, you can set up later. Cool. All right. I see everyone coming in here. So, question for enemy Lozen. Uh, I know the naming of the aura and now the creature were not last, last minute, but new newer ideas. Um, I was planning on doing yeah. like a giveaway in the chat right now by them typing in a word and then it'll randomize can we still do that for an aura as well sure why not okay that sounds good okay cool can you have a wallet without any actual crypto yeah you don't need to own any crypto it's it's a wallet for crypto but you don't have to have crypto in it 
super, super easy. I would recommend MetaMask. Got a cute little fox. And if you need help setting that up, as you can see, a lot of people are here. Just, you know, yep, good help. Really good. Um, feel free to DM. I'd be happy to walk you through it. Just like a robot with no cash in it. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, with these markets. Nothing but a sword. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but a sword. Particles. Yeah. Yep. Um, cool. So, everybody, fill that out. I see 11 responses right now, so that's great. Thanks, Crafter, for the link. Look at that. Look at the community just coming in. Crafter with the link, Arctic with the most important thing about keeping the, the, seed, the seed phrase uh, safe. Love you guys. All right. Um, fantastic. So y'all are filling it out. Also, I'm gonna put I'm gonna post it again, um, just so you have it, and then we're gonna do the other giveaway. Um, yeah, I would recommend um, read when you if you're doing MetaMask, it'll give you 12 random words. Uh, just write them down on a tangible piece of paper and put it somewhere safe. Don't store it digitally anywhere. If someone were to have those 12 words, uh, they could access your wallet and everything in it, which would be a sword right now. But hey, never know. Maybe you'll get into it really hard and uh, yeah, something could happen. All right. That's the attendance form. Now what I'm going to do, what should the giveaway word be for today? Oh, they have to like type yeah, the word. Yeah, they got to type a the... word. What should the word be? Poop? It should be poop. Oh, poop. <laughs> no. Poop, poop, pee, pee, poop, 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 poop. It should be. Mm... Wait, it has to be one word? Yeah, okay. I mean, it could be a long compound word, but it has to be all together. Filth like crumb. Crum? Crumb. K R U. Crumb. We'll go okay. with crumb. Crumb right, is the on. main character from. Cosmic Safari. Yes, I have one of those pieces. Yep. Okay. So yeah. So to Good enter call, Carney, Phil. to enter mm -hmm. to win an aura, name two BD. Type the word crumb in the chat right now, all lowercase. Um. Thanks, Crafter. Thanks for stopping by. So yeah, just type crumb yeah, in thanks, the chat. Crafter. All lowercase though. Make sure all it's all lowercase. Lowercase. Some of you guys don't have, don't have a capital K. So there you go. All right, that's going, and we'll let that go. Keep filling out the form. Thanks, you Carney. you want credit? Oh, Phil, you got to write it with a lower, oh, lowercase. Oh, Paul is here. Hi, Paul. Paul, what's up? OG Shakespeare's here. Lowercase what's up? K. All them lurkers coming out. I know, Both links. right? What's up? Love it. What's up, everybody? Love it. We're making some monsters. We are. All right. Um, make sure you fill out the form form because you are going to want credit for being here. Because I can't see exactly who's all here. So if you come to me after, it's like, I was there. Like, I, I don't know. And we got to be fair to everyone. So fill it out. All right. Yeah, the monster's looking great. Whatever his yeah, name man. or their name will be. Whatever his name will be. Yeah, whatever their name will be. Actually, yeah. they're not really. Yeah, they're kind of sexless. They're just weird monsters. Yeah. Great. I love the little uh, cloud, the idea with the party hat a lot. The little partying idea. The partying hey, idea. Hey, guys. Yeah. All right. I like the mouth on the mushroom. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, squeeze me. I love the plant we haven't talked about yet. I really love this. Don't talk about Yeah, don't talk about what it does, but I freaking love this thing. it's going to be fun. We're not going to talk about what these what these do. No, no. They're in the game and they do something fun. That's all we're going to say. Right. In the magic force, you'll have some fun interactions with these ones. Yeah, you will. 
Um, cool. So yeah, we're we're wrapping up here. We're just over the hour now. I know we started after the hour, so we're we're good. But um, let's do a recap. So um, every week, at least for the next ten weeks, we'll be doing a stream with Frenemy. Um, this week we did a little introduction. Frenemy's been drawing these badass characters. Next week, we will be taking this character into Vox Edit and creating a 3D version of it that will be usable in the game. The week after that, we'll have that character and put it in the game, decorate the world, so you get to see the whole process. Um, so we'll be doing 10, then we'll do other stuff after that. Um, come for the experience points to get a sword when you get to 8, and we'll be doing giveaways like we're about to do right now for the Aura. And make sure to follow Play Imaginarium on Twitter because Frenemy is yeah. always posting the sneak peeks of the new characters and the stuff. And there's a Discord. Um, I can yeah, probably drop Discord. the Discord in there. Yeah, let me see. Anybody else want to sneak from all lowercase in the chat? I will draw it in like 30 seconds. A R U M if you want to get into this. Thanks, Arctic. All right. What's up, Roman Punks? Oh, hey. Here's the doing? Discord link if you want to join the Discord. Yes. Uh, to keep up to date with stuff, and we'll be posting like sneak peeks of like NPCs and stuff like that. A lot Just of good the, stuff the to look at. Game. Yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff coming. They guys, you guys showed me some pretty awesome stuff tonight I hadn't seen before. It's exciting. Yeah. All right. Their team is absolutely killing it, by the way. That's what I want to mention. Their team is. If awesome. your, if your Tempest team, um, throw some lightning bolts in the chat because there's a bunch of you here. Let uh, mm -hmm. let everyone know so they can say good job. Can you do lightning bolts? Yeah, the their team is. Taking There's... all my concepts and drawings and stuff and just like knocking it out of the park, especially with the animation styles and stuff. Like, I feel like they like not like really animated exactly how I would picture it, you know? For sure. Which is cool. All right. There's okay. There's two. Oh, you can do a lightning bolt. You found one. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Morphin time. Yeah. Um, all right. I know there's more, but they're probably busy working. Um, good for them. Good for them. All yeah, right. Yeah, we have Meagle in here. There's Dinkoi. Lele was here. Cold Cuts is yeah. here. Yeah, Dinkoi. So many. All right, let's do this giveaway. The way it's going to work on this screen, on this computer over here, I have 17 entries. I'm going to click the entry, the button that's going to draw a random one, and then I click one more, it will announce it here in the chat. So I'm going to do that now. Oop. And it's the yolks on you. <gasps> oh, yay. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Congrats. Aww. Congrats, yolks. So if you filled out the form, I should have your wallet address. Um, so I will add that to our list. But, so, um, yeah, you, they won't get it right away. They'll yes. get it when we, when we mint. Yes. yes, that is a great Just thing to bring up. Um, at the end of the stream yes. series, we'll be able to see how many need to be distributed for everything. We'll have the actual names of everything. We will then mint and do distribution after that. But we already have the gems and catalysts to do so. Yeah, because so. these are only for people who, for giveaways. These will these assets will only be for giveaways. They won't be for so only if you've been attending and stuff, you'll be able to get these. But, yeah, you cannot. We, these will never be for sale. These are just giveaway perks only. So unless someone decides to sell on secondary, then you would be crazy. But that's the only way. All right. So I'm going to write down the yokes on you. Perfect. Um, today is the 22nd. Perfect. Yep. All right. I got you down. Congrats. Um. Everyone fill out that form. I'm going to keep it open just a little bit longer. I will be turning it off just since this, you have to be here to fill out the form. Uh, I don't want to leave it going past the stream. 
the 14 responses. Make sure and get that. There's a, there's an eagle right there. Perfect. Um, after cool. party at Ghost Club. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I'll go over there after. If you guys want to hang out in the Ghost Club, you can do that. Kay created a wallet and filled out the form. Awesome. Very nice. Awesome. Hell yeah. Welcome to it, Reed. Uh, Lozen, did I miss anything from the recap? That we need to talk about? Are you muted? There. Oh, oh shit, muted. yes. Oh, I you was. were muted. Okay. <laughs> I was muted. <laughs> My bad. So next next farting. week. He <laughs> caught me. He was over here farting it up. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> um, <laughs> next week, it, the stream will be on Thursday. It might be a different time. We're trying. We're going to do different times to kind of adjust for different people all around the world, since it's kind of a global audience. So, um, yeah. Stay. Make sure you're following the Twitters. Maybe we could throw Twitters in here really quick. Um, yes. Yeah. Let's do did Twitter. I, did I post the? Here's a Discord link as well. Yeah, there's the Discord. Uh, there's a Discord link if you want to follow the Discord. And then also follow us on Twitter. Yeah, I think it would be good to uh, take the, the naming stuff into the Discord too so we can vote there on names. Yeah, I think we will we can yeah. pull the names off of the form and maybe among us we choose the top three or four and then we either go yeah. to Discord or Twitter and let the community vote on which one. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. Maybe yeah, we'll we'll have it in the Discord and also post it on Twitter. We'll do like a, a vote. Or yeah, I'll post the link. Maybe it's a Twitter. We'll do a Twitter one. Twitter and vote. I'll post the link in Discord. Yeah, but I'll post the link to it in Discord as well. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to just our faces while we close out here. Um, Cool. I'm going to shut the form down in one more minute. Someone's tired. Yeah, I keep yawning. I'm sorry. That's fine. Uh, I go to sleep early so I can get up early. Yeah. I didn't know what I was saying there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> early to early. Um, early to early. So this has been super fun. Um, look forward to more of these once a week, uh, at least for 10 weeks. Um, next week we'll be designing this creature in 3D. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. where Briah is at. It's nice, Briah. <laughs> um, well, thanks for attending, man. Yeah. Thanks for being up. <laughs> Go to sleep. Uh, we have a few meetings. <laughs> yeah, you got to be up early. What are you doing? Um Enemy, is there anything you want to say to everyone before we sign off? Yeah, thanks for attending, guys, and thanks for uh, being here for the uh, build up to the game. And uh, excited to share more with you guys. Hope to see you next week. Perfect. Lozen, how about you? Thanks Maybe. for stopping by. No, yeah. I'm not. I just don't know what to oh, okay. say. Other All than right. I love you. <laughs> There you go. I do love you. Oh. And thank you guys for coming by. And I guess I love Frenemy too. And Cody's okay. Oh. And you know, yeah. I love you, Cody. Don't worry. Don't oh, thank you. You're, <laughs> thank you. You're loved. Come back to Texas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm turning the form off. Form is off. We're shutting down. Um seriously, everybody, thank you so much. Thanks for coming through, everybody. Love the support. We will see you next week. Um um small plug okay. saturday it's lozen's birthday so just oh, lots of love oh, happy birthday lots of love that's all i gotta say all right um yeah. we'll see y'all uh, on the flip side have a great night or day or evening yeah, or whatever it is wherever you are all right have bye. a good time bitches yeah all of those things bye everybody <laughs>